cells with re- on a regular basis, the hardest thing for the body have, that has to, the hardest thing that the body has to process with on a regular basis is sugar, and this will put a burden on the adrenal glands faster than anything. Make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Now, nutrients that help you process sugar are also going to help the adrenal glands. The uh, zinc, vitamin B12. Uh, niacin, vitamin B3, all the B-complex, really, as well as selenium, chromium, vanadium. These are all wonderful for the adrenal glands. You can also uh, Vitamin C is also mega, mega important for the adrenal glands. Oxygenation, super important for the adrenal glands. The hormone DHEA and progesterone, super important for the adrenal glands. But nothing is as important or more important than restricting your intake of anything that breaks down into sugar. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Hope I didn't tick off Angela there. But anyway, uh, Jessica in Michigan, what is up? Welcome to the bright side. Hey, Ben. Hey. Melanoma in my eye. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. Uh, Melanoma, obviously cancer, a cancer of the pigments of a cell that's called the melanocyte. We talk on, on this program all the time about cells and stuff how the body is made up of cells and the cells make up stuff and that's what composes the body. Melanin, the pigment melanin, is the stuff that comes out of the cell called a melanocyte. Cancer, a melanoma is cancer of the melanocyte, of the cell that makes mel, uh, melanin. So like all cancers, once the cancer is initiated, uh, you're going to have to do everything you can do to help the body take care of that cancer. Ideally, you want to prevent cancer, but once it's there, you have to do everything you can do to help the body fight cancer. Listen, anybody out there with cancer, I want you to hear this, and Jessica too. Cancer remits on its own many times. They call it spontaneous remission, and they've known about it for centuries. And it's a fact. Cancers remit. So if cancer can remit, if cancer can remit in one person, it can remit in anybody. It can go backwards. So no matter what anybody tells you, and doctors will say, well, we can't cure cancer. Well, they can't, but the body can. The body has anti-cancer factors in it. Do you know, if you take the insides of a cell, it's called the cytoplasm, the, the gooey stuff inside a cell, and transfer that gooey stuff into a cancer cell, the cancer cell, the, the cancer will go away from the cancer cell. There's, there's chemicals, molecules, in a healthy cell that kill cancer. So we are exquisitely equipped to kill cancer. The human body is. But what we have to do is we have to activate that healing system. When the body is under stress, the healing system will not work. And by stress, I mean nutritional deficiency stress. I mean toxicity stress, including sugar. And I mean uh, stress from a lack of oxygen. Fundamentally, it's a lack of oxygen. But the, all the other things contribute to that lack of oxygen. So between nutritional supplementation, I'll give you some specifics here in a second, Jessica. M- nutritional supplementation, uh, oxygenation, and uh, making sure that you're eliminating toxicity, helping the body's relaxation and healing system kick in, that's your strategy for dealing with cancer. Now, cancer occurs in stages, stage one, two, three, and four. You've heard this before. I'm assuming you're at, a, you're at one of the early stages, right, Jessica? I hope so. Okay, so at the early stage, this is where these strategies become very, very helpful. And you should know, uh, chemotherapy is notoriously ineffective. In fact, everything about the medical model when it comes to treating cancer, with the exception of some blood cancers like leukemia uh, and uh, lymphoma and then testicular cancer, those are three cancers where the medical model has done a good job, or at least chemotherapy has, has become effective. Other than that, the medical model is useless when it comes to dealing with cancer. In fact, they'll tell you there's nothing we could do except give you something called a five-year, a good five-year survival rate. However, the body can do it, and you want to really begin to focus on this. Now, once you go into stage three or four or some of these, you know, once this cancer has begun to spread, then the killing techniques, the radiation, the chemotherapy, they become, it, it becomes more reasonable to apply those. But at your stage, I would be doing everything I could do to make sure my body had it easy, took, is taking it easy, as they say in the song, take it easy. That means supplementation, especially with vitamin C. And I'm telling you, I just read an article in Science Magazine, yet another one, about the importance of vitamin C for cancer. And I don't care what anybody says, vitamin C is vital for helping the body fight cancer. And I know doctors are, will tell you all kinds of baloney. They don't research. They don't read. Just get the latest edition of Science Magazine. It's actually a, kind of a technical magazine, so you know it's going to be hard to read. But the point is, is that vitamin C can be very helpful. Chelation therapy. Another. Uh, I think we lost. Uh, 
I think we lost Melissa there. Chelation therapy, another very helpful strategy. Uh, that's where uh, toxins are magnetically attracted out of the blood. Making sure you're keeping sugar intake down, also very important for the same reasons we talked about with Angela previously. Sugar represents a major burden on the body. Uh, oxygenation, hyperbaric oxygen, Dr. Otto Warburg talked about this, 15, I don't know, maybe 80 years ago. Uh, how cancer cells are initiated by a lack of oxygen, or carcinogenesis is in initiated by a lack of oxygen. I just call it burden. That's the way I describe it, stress, burden. But lack of oxygen is a major one. You can actually do hyperbaric oxygen chambers. And God bless you. Good luck with that. I, I hope everything works out for you, ma'am. That's got to be a terrible, scary thing. And cancer is a terrible, scary thing. And my heart goes out to anybody who's dealing with it or has a loved one who's dealing with it because it is terrible and scary. And that's why I do this program, folks, because we want to simplify things. A fear scariness and fear come from mystery and the unknown. When we don't know what's going on, that's where fear kicks in. That's the ultimate fear is the fear of the unknown. But by simplifying things, by breaking things down to its basic building block components, which your doctor does not do, tragically does not do, we have control and we can deactivate fear. All right. I hope I helped you. Thanks for your call. Clayton in Canada. Welcome to the bright side. What's up? Clayton? Oh, hi there. Hey, hey Ben. Uh, hey. Have you heard of a guy named Ray Kurzweil? Of course, and I love Ray Kurzweil, actually. Have you read The Singularity is Near? I have not read his book, but I just read an article that said he takes 150 supplements he, a day. Know, yeah, I know. Let me tell you about that. First of all, Ray has a friend here who's a do in Denver who's a doctor, and I've worked with uh, this gentleman, so I, I, I have never met Ray, but I'm very familiar with his work, and he doesn't do it correctly. I watched him. There's a movie where he takes, they watch, show him taking his supplements, and he's, he's as, as brilliant as the guy is, one of the most brilliant minds, brilliant thinkers on the planet. If you've read any of his books or heard him talk, he invented the Kurzweil organ, and uh, he wrote this book called The Singularity is Near, which is a mind-blowing, I mean mind-blowing book, and just a, a, a brilliant observer of, of, of science and sociology and the human condition. He doesn't know how to take his supplements, and I watched him do it, and he actually is not a healthy man. Physically, he's not a healthy man, partially because he doesn't know how to take his supplements. Clayton, I'd love to talk to you more about this, but I'm out of time. Okay. So uh, we just got to go. If you want to call back tomorrow, that'd be awesome, and sure. I'll get you first up. Yeah, I'll get you first up, because I love talking about it. I love Ray Kurzweil and his work, but he just doesn't know how to take his supplements. And it was kind of amazing to me when I watched this movie where they showed him doing that, uh, supplementing. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves an awesome, beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.